Today I'm going to show you how to make a cottage pie. For the potato topping you will need 100 kilograms of potatoes, 100 millilitres of milk and 75 grams of butter. To start with you want to peel and quarter your potatoes, pop them in boiling water and boil for 20 minutes until nice and soft. You want to drain the water off your potatoes but retain the potato water because this makes a really nice stock for the filling. And then mash using a potato masher adding in your milk and your butter. Once nicely mashed, just pop this to one side while we make the filling. For the filling, you will need 500 grams of minced beef, one onion, three garlic cloves, two carrots, one tablespoon of sunflower oil, two tablespoons of tomato puree, two tablespoons of plain flour, 400 millilitres of beef stock, ideally using the potato water you reserved earlier, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and one tablespoon of thyme. In a saucepan over a medium to low heat, add your oil and fry your onions, garlic and carrots for five minutes until they're nice and soft. Then add your mince and cook until nice and browned, it should take about five minutes. Then add your plain flour and stir until it's really nicely coated through. Then add your beef stock, tomato puree, thyme and Worcestershire sauce and simmer for 5 to 10 minutes until your sauce is nicely thickened. Then add your filling to an oven proof dish, mine was 27cm by 19cm. Just spreading it out and then top with your mashed potato. I like to rough up the tops of my mashed potato because it makes it really nice and crispy on top. So you can do this just with a fork or something like that. Then pop in a preheated oven at gas mark 4, 180 degrees centigrade or 160 fan assisted for 30 to 40 minutes until the top is nicely golden. And there you have it. That's how you make a cottage pie.